Hello, my name is Steve and I sell stuff on eBay as a hobby and in this video I want to show you my payout for the 29th of November 2022. But first of all, let's have a look at what sold this week. It's Tuesday the 22nd of November and I've had my first sale of the week, which is this jigsaw, or I should say two jigsaws in one pack. Um, it's called the Bruegel Collection and it's got two Bruegel paintings, both 1000 piece jigsaws. So that's one of them. That's called uh, Battle Between Carnival and Lent. Uh, and the other one is this, which is Winter Landscape. Very nice. Now, as you can see, uh, this is still in its wrapping it's sealed in its wrapping so it's unused it's basically it's brand new um and i bought this over a year ago now from a charity shop um in devon um whilst we were staying in torquay uh, i paid four pounds for it because i thought i'd be able to sell it on um i looked it up on amazon uh, it was uh out of print but I think it was about £35 brand new so I started listing it for about £20 it wasn't going anywhere it's taken a long time to sell it but it has eventually gone for um, what has become my full asking price of £14 including postage and packing so uh, I'm going to get that packed up and sent out this afternoon um, I'm going to send it Royal Mail because uh, I did try every with my last uh, posting and it went completely wrong so I'm not doing that again and even though there is a, a strike day planned for two days hence um, I'm still going to send it by Royal Mail uh, and if I get it to the Royal Mail Depot this afternoon hopefully it won't take too long to get there I will message the, the buyer to let him know uh, what is happening uh, but that's quite good that is uh, two Bruegel jigsaws for £14 all in it's Thursday the 24th of November and I've got my eBay account on time away for the next two days to coincide with the Royal Mail strike and that will give me a little bit of extra time to dispatch anything that is bought. Um, my account is on time away but my items are still visible to buyers and I have made a couple of sales today so far. Um, one is a couple of books by Con Igolden. Uh, these are two books from his Wars of the Roses series, series um, and what we have got here is Trinity um, plus uh, Ravenspur. Uh, so those are two books by Connor Golden. I had them up for £9.87 and they have gone for the full asking price. Um, and another item has gone for the full asking price is this. It's uh, a fairly small paperback. It's by Sven Hassel. It's called Monte Casino. Uh, now Sven Hassel um, has written a series of novels about um, German troops during the war, but uh, they are actually uh, they're actually troops who were in like a punishment legion, I think. They were they, they were basically criminals who were um, recruited by the German army to fight for them. Uh, and Sven Hassel, I believe, um, I mean, he, he was a, a Finnish writer. And I think he did fight on the Axis side during World War II. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong on that, but uh, that's what I seem to remember about him. Uh, these are very popular novels. Um, I picked this one up for not very much money at all. Um, it's a, a vintage edition of Monte Cassino and I listed it for £8 all in and it has sold for the full asking price. Uh, so that's two items to post as soon as the Royal Mail are back up and running uh, and I'll be able to drop those off on Saturday morning. It's Friday the 25th of November and it's day two of my two day time away from eBay whilst the Royal Mail strike is on so uh, my account will be back up tomorrow but in the meantime I've made my third sale during that time away period which is this 500 piece Gibson's jigsaw called Brixham Marina. Uh, now this is a painting as you can see of Brixham Marina in Devon. Uh, I had it up for £10. I got an offer for £8 with a, a message from the buyer uh, explaining why it meant so much to him um, and 
I thought, well, yeah, eight pounds all in for five hundred piece jigsaws, okay, really. Um, I was asking for ten, as I say, uh, but I think eight pounds for a five hundred piece jigsaw is fine. Uh, so I agreed to that. Uh, it does have a little bit of damage to the box, um, but all of the pieces are there. Um, they've been sealed in a bag so that I can send them off without them going all over the place. Um, so yeah that will be going tomorrow um and actually because i'm on time away at the moment ebay have given me until the 29th of november to post this uh so that i feel is probably the right thing to do at the moment um but anyway bricks and marina 500 piece jigsaw eight pounds all in it's Friday afternoon now and I've had a couple more orders during the day, one of which is this bundle of three books by James Oswald in his Inspector McLean novel uh, series. Uh, apparently he's the new Ian Rankin. Um, but anyway, what we have here is the Book of Souls, Natural Causes and the Hangman's Song. Um, that I had up for £10 all in and it has gone for the full asking price. Now the next thing I've sold, um, to show you actually, because uh, it's a whole ton of um, Brio, um, well not Brio, but Brio compatible rail track and stuff. Now, I'm not going to pull all the rail track out because uh, there is a ton of it. There's all this, these sorts of accessories as well, so little chains and sand and buildings and what have you. Um, let's see. Um, oh, we'll show you this. Um, this is rather nice. Uh, crane, uh, a little bit battered. There's quite a lot of scratching on the bottom there. Um, and this has got a helipad uh, with a helicopter to go on it. So that's really rather nice. Um, now I picked those up in two lots. I, I got um, a, a bag of Brio about uh, a year, 18 months or so ago, but there wasn't very much of it um, and it didn't seem to uh, really be a goer. So I've held on to it and then a couple of months ago I found, uh, well, the remains of this really, which I paid three quid for. Um, and it all weighs in at about four kilograms uh, or just under four kilograms. So it's quite a lot of it. So quite a lot of track, quite a lot of things like bridges and uh, accessories. I listed it for £30 plus £6.95 postage and packing. Um, and that has gone for the full asking price. So I'm really pleased with that. And I should be able to get that boxed up and sent out tomorrow. It's Saturday the 26th of November and I've picked up another sale overnight, which is this book by Victor Hugo, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Um, now this is an American edition from a publisher called Airmont. You can see there's a, a dollar price on there, uh, $1.95. Uh, I actually bought this in uh, a bargain bookshop uh, in the UK uh, for a pound, um, probably about 30 years ago, well 1982, so yeah, a very long time ago. Uh, and as I say, I paid a pound for it at the time. Uh, I've never got round to reading it. It's just one of that big collection of books that I never got round to reading, unfortunately. Uh, but I'm trying to make some room on my shelves. So I put this up for sale on eBay for eight pounds all in, and it has gone for the full asking price. So that's um, six parcels I've got to send out today. Royal Mail will be opening up its doors for a few days now. So I've got quite a lot to, to ship off today. Um, and I'm quite surprised at how much I've sold once my account's been on time away. I have got another offer outstanding, which I'm going to have a look at later today, uh, but I won't be posting that probably until tomorrow now, uh, if I accept the offer. But anyway, uh, that's Victor Hugo's The Hunchback of Notre Dame for £8 all in. It's Sunday the 27th of November and I've got three sales from yesterday that I need to get sent off today if I can. Uh, one of which is this bundle of books by Brian Jakes or Jack or Jack or however he says it. Um, and they are four books in his Red Wall series, which is a fantasy series about um, a group of mice. Um, the first book here is called Moss Flower. I think that's number two in the actual series itself. So it's a bit of a random collection. They're not um, they're not uh, in in uh, 
consecutive sequence or anything here uh, so that they are odd books from the series. So we've got Moss Flower. Uh, this one is called Martin the Warrior. And this one is called Salamander Strom. I hope I've said that one correctly. So Salamander Strom. Uh, and finally, we've got the Long Patrol. Uh, now, those are four books that I've picked up over uh, quite a period of time. I think a couple of them I picked up oh ages ago. I put them up for sale as a pair. They didn't do anything. Then I come across a couple of more of them. Um, and as you can see, those two I bought together. Those two I bought together, uh, probably paying about 20 to 30 pence each. And I have sold those for £12 all in, which is the full asking price. And now the, the next sale that I've got, uh, actually two items that I had listed separately, but they've gone to the same buyer who sent me offers and I was considering them yesterday. And I've decided to accept them because all in, uh, he's paid me £24 for those, including postage and packing. Um, so let's have a look. This one. I had this up for £12, he offered me 10 so I accepted that, uh, and that is upside down, so let's uh, right way up. It's called Dragon, uh, sorry, Defenders of the Castle, nearly said dragons because obviously it's got dragons in it. Um, I had it up for some time, so very happy to um, accept an offer on that, and indeed on this one as well. This one is called Wolf Queen, that's a very nice jigsaw couple of uh, split corners on the box there but that's in the description uh, had this up for um nine pounds plus postage and packing and uh, i've accepted his offer on that as well of eight pounds so on the two items it's uh three pounds reduction in the full asking price uh 24 pounds including the postage and packing which i've uh, charged separately um I'm, I'm quite happy with that because these will fit into one box they will go as a medium-sized parcel just over two kilograms so it's going to cost me five pound 95 to post those but that's fine because that's covered in the cost um, so that's three items for me to get out today. It's Monday the 28th of November and I've got one sale to show you this morning which is this trilogy of books by C.S. Lewis. It's his space trilogy. Um, I've owned these for quite some time. I bought them second hand. They're very shabby actually um, but also quite sought after. So I listed them for £12.50 all in. Uh, yesterday I had an offer from somebody for £10 and I've kind of dithered about it because um, I've decided to put my account on time away again uh, because of the Royal Mail strike um, and I didn't really want to be using a different courier because of uh, experience I had with every last week. I think I'm going to send these with every. I'm going to give it another go and see if it works this time. Um, so, uh, yeah, I turned down the offer and then within a minute or so, the person who made the offer uh, bought them for full price. So uh, I feel slightly bad about that. But to be honest, if he's willing to pay £12.50, I guess that's fair enough. But let me show you what the books are. Um, so they're pan editions of C.S. Lewis's Space Trilogy. This is Out of the Silent Planet, Out of the Silent Planet. That hideous strength and Voyage to Venus. And as you can see, the Voyage to Venus, that's rather older edition than the other two. I didn't buy these all at the same time. I collected them over a period, probably a year or 18 months or something. Um, but there we go. Um, that's three paperbacks by C.S. Lewis for £12.50 all in. eBay sent £126.20 to my bank account on the 29th of November after taking their fees. Mostly standard fees. There are a couple of discounts. I've got a discount on the uh, Brio train set bundle. Only £1.72 in fees for that and only 68 pence in fees for the three James Oswald books. After postage, I'm left with £94.80 um, and uh, I have finally decided to use every um, that seems to have gone okay, actually. I paid £2.75 for that as a small parcel, up to one kilogram. Gets a bit more expensive after that. Um, everything else still has gone by Royal Mail. 
Um, most of them are small parcels at £2.85 and a couple of uh, medium-sized parcels costing £5.95. And actually, I have looked at the tracking on these. Um, every seems to be doing what it should be doing, so that's got to their national um, distribution centre by the time I'm recording this. Um, and at least one of my... Um, Royal Mail parcels has already been delivered um, on a strike day as well, so that doesn't seem to have done too badly either. So 10 items sold, £94.80 after postage and packing. That's 11 items sold actually, but uh, two of them went as one parcel, so it was 10 parcels altogether and just short of £95 after postage and packing. So I'm quite happy with that as a, a, a hobby seller. Now I've got my account on holds, I've probably uh, mentioned earlier in the video. Um, still worried about the Royal Mail strike, but to be honest, I've used every the once and um, after a disaster a couple of weeks ago where it all went wrong with the label and I had to claim money back and all the rest of it. I have found somewhere else to drop them off. I was quite happy with that. Um, I've been keeping an eye on the tracking and it seems to be doing what it's supposed to do. So let's hope that goes okay. And having said that, the Royal Mail uh, still getting a very good service from them. Um, I know that some items have been delivered even on Tuesday this week, which was a strike day. Um, so I'm quite happy with them as well. So I, I'd rather stick with Royal Mail. I think they've got a better uh, network than anyone else. So we'll just have to see how it goes. I may use every every now and then. Pun not intended, but there you are, it came out anyway. Uh, so I hope you found that interesting. If you did, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.